Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and today's video is part of a special hop and giveaway for Not Too Shabby. I hope you'll stick around, find out more about the hop and giveaway and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Not Too Shabby has just released their newest Box of the Month and Stamp and Die set and the design team is celebrating with hops. Now something extra special this month is, usually they would do the box of the month on the first and the stamp and die later in the month on the seventh, but today as you hop along, you're gonna see artists creating with the box of the month and like me, with the stamp and die of the month. Now later on in the video, I will give you all the details on how you can play along and enter, but for now, let me tell you about the stamp and die that I'll be using today. This month's stamp and die bundle includes the new elegant Christmas stamp set and the coordinating dies. Now the fun thing is with the dies, not only do you get a die for each of the images, but also for the sentiments. Up on screen now is a close-up look at the stamp set. This is going to make great cards for the upcoming holiday season, but I also think that main image could be used for a Barbie lover in your life, a little princess, or even I was thinking if you had a sentiment set or wanted to make your own, I think it would make great quinceanera cards. Let me know below what you think it would also be great for. Today I'm going to be using the stamps and dies to create a trifold mini slimline card. As I add other products and tools during the process, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started by making my card base and to do this, I cut just a normal piece of white cardstock at six and a half inches tall and I go ahead and I leave the width for now at 11 inches wide. Then I'm going to bring in my score buddy and I'm going to make two score lines, one at three and a quarter and one at six and a half. When I make my mini slimline cards, I like the finish size to be three and a quarter by six and a quarter. Once I have both of those score lines made, I fold it on the lines and crease them. And now because when you fold that inside piece in, it's a little bulky, I'm actually going to bring in my trimmer and cut just a sliver off that left panel. This will end up being the one on the inside of the trifold. You'll see here once that's done, it closes much easier. Now to finish the card base, I'm going to go ahead and fold the card back together and using the cut line on my trimmer, I'm going to line that up with the edge of the card and cut off the excess on the third panel. Now we're going to decorate the inside flap and to do that, I will be using the Snow Flurry stencil, which I helped design with Not Too Shabby last year. And I will be using these two blue inks from Gina K Designs, Blue Raspberry and Ocean Mist. Because I want to keep the stenciling on just that single panel, I brought in some post-it notes and lined them up along the fold line. This way if I do stencil over a little bit, it will go on to the sticky notes. Now because this stencil isn't quite as tall as a mini slim line, you will see me here kind of piece it together. And I'm going to start by covering up the not complete snowflakes at the bottom and that way I won't have any that just cut off in the middle of the card. I use both blues. I did clean my brush between the dark to the light as I was going and once I had them down in a single layer, I came back in again with just one snowflake at a time to fill in the open areas. Now I will let you watch me do that, but while I'm working on it, I wanted to tell you about the hop and giveaway. 
This hop is a hashtag driven hop, so you will want to click on the hashtag in the title or in the description box to bring up all of the videos. Once you have stopped by each one, gave them a thumbs up, left them a comment, you will want to visit the Rafflecopter link in my description box to complete your entry. One lucky winner will win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. You have until October 7th to complete your entry and the winner will be announced on the Not Too Shabby channel. Good luck and happy hopping! From the stamp set today, I'm going to be using the window image and the Baby It's Cold Outside sentiment. I will be stamping this onto a 2 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters inch piece of white cardstock, as well as the blue and vellum squares you see off to the side. Now the window on this piece of white cardstock is really just a placeholder for die cutting later and so I know where to put my sentiment. So I'm going to stamp the window in the light blue ink and I'm going to be stamping this sentiment with Versamark so that I can emboss it with the Detail Silver embossing powder. I do ink up the sentiment twice but I did just stamp the window one time. After I had the embossing powder on the white cardstock, I brought in the blue square and I set up the window to fit on that. Then using Versamark once again, I inked it up, poured on the silver powder, and then I did the same with the vellum square. Once all three pieces had the powder poured onto it and the excess knocked off, I brought in my heat tool and I heated each of them up. I did make sure to do the white cardstock and the blue piece so that when I brought my heat tool to the vellum, it would heat it up right away and not melt that paper. The next steps in the card all use the coordinating die for the window stamp and I'm going to be making lots of windows. I needed to make one in the white cardstock and the cutout from that you can save or recycle and then I cut out the blue copy as well. Now what I need to do is get a window into my light blue mat. So to do that I adhered my white cardstock piece with art glitter glue so I'd have a little wiggle room if I needed it. And then then I placed the die down in the opening of the white cardstock and took that off screen to make another cut. And finally, I need to cut the same window into the front panel of the mini slimline, but because the vellum piece needs to go between these layers, I can't glue down the front and cut them all at once. So I held my card front in place where I wanted it to go eventually, and I marked the inside of where the die was with a pencil. Later this will be cut out, but it worked great so I knew where to put the die. Once that was cut, I placed the vellum window on the back of my card front and I set that to the side for a little bit to let it dry while I cut out the panes from my turquoise copy of the window because I just want the curtains to be shown from this so you can see through to the vellum window. Now all of the main pieces were ready, so I put my card together. You'll see that I did add some foam tape to the back of the curtains just to add a little extra dimension. Then off camera to finish the card off, I used some sparkly blue enamel dots, and here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go on the hop so you can get entered to win. You can see all of the artist videos by clicking on that hashtag in the title. Happy hopping, good luck in the giveaway, and until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.